Hi, this is Barb from Scrubby Mania, and I want to teach you how to create this lovely little card using some Altenew stamps. And um, I do have a video haul in where I showed you that in Creative Craft, I was able to get this stamp kit from Altenew, and it comes with the painted flowers and also with the painted butterflies. It comes with this beautiful little booklet that gives you ideas, and this was the one that gave me the idea for this stamp. So, um... I want to go ahead and create another card, but this one's going to be a little bit different. And these are the stamp that comes together. So you'll get the painted flowers, you get a same, and I uh, don't know the name of this stamp, but it's, it's labels, I'm not sure the name of it, but it's this stamp that has a lot of sayings. And then you get the butterflies all together with cards, so they do give you a set of cards. And then they give you four inks. So you get the Peach Perfect, the Mango Smoothies, the Dark Chocolate, and the can um, Cotton Candy. For this project, I'm actually using some distressing inks. So I'm going to use Fire Brick and Cotton Candy for the butterfly. And then for my flowers, I do love that color flowers. I'm going to use Mustard Seed and dark chocolate because when I tried to use the mango smoothie it did not come out as I want it like more a mustard color yellow like you see here this one was a little too bright and let me show you it was just a little too bright I don't know I, I didn't like it when I did the sample so that's why and instead of using the mango smoothie, I am going to use mustard seed. I really like that. So the other thing, the other product that I'm using is this Spellbinder Nestability. And I got this at a show, at a stamp show. And I'm going to be using the second smallest um, die, which is in the form of a vase. So when I was doing this with my sister, we actually, she didn't have the die, so I wanted to teach her how to do it without the die. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it in a second without the die, but I'm going to use the die for this project. So I'll put that aside, and then when we start, I'll show you how to do it if you don't have the pot die. But um, I'm using this, this pot for my flower vase or my flower pot. And then I'm going to be using this cardstock that came with the Altenew stamps. So... And I'm gonna, um, so I'm using that. And then I cut a panel. This is three and seven eighth by five and a quarter, and that fits perfect onto this panel, as you can see. Before we get started, oh, and also I'm gonna use these um, Neo Pop watercolor gels just to give it some color on the leaves. I really like that that nice neon color on those leaves and on those little flowers. And then I'm using my Martha Stewart ruler to align the pot so it will be even on the bottom you see how I'll use this and I got some um, regular dry adhesive this is project is better use dry adhesive than wet adhesive because it you when you use glue on your cards it warps your cards a little so I like to use dry adhesive if I have if I have some and then I'm going to use some pot dots so let's go ahead and show you how to create the vase. So what you want to do is, let me put this aside. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to cut your vase. So you're going to take a piece of card uh, paper and you're going to cut three inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut three inches and then two inches. So this was my vase and then I'm going to go ahead and measure. Let's go ahead and measure a quarter inch on each side so I'm going to use the Martha Stewart ruler and I'm going to mark a quarter inch on each side let me do it on the opposite side so you can see one quarter inch here one quarter inch here okay so here's a quarter inch in here see right there one quarter inch then you're gonna take what is this. Then you're gonna take your um, your trimmer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it so that way you can see it. I'm gonna trim at an angle. So 
going to go ahead and do that here. So what you want to do is, you see right here, you want to trim that at an angle. So we're going to trim that piece and this piece. Bring it over to your trimmer. And then cut it at an angle. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we cut it at an angle, and then after you've done that, you're going to mark a half inch from the top. So we're going to mark a half an inch, and then five-eighths of an inch on each side. So you're going to mark a half an inch, and then five-eighths of an inch. Okay. Once you have marked that, I'm going to go ahead and align it and score. Okay, so that way you can fold it. So I'm going to fold forward and then I'm going to fold the half an inch side back. And I should have used my scoreboard, but I didn't. I just wanted to do it real quickly. But if you use a scoreboard, it will be a lot better. And, on, and if you use a better scoring tool, it will be a lot better. But it's kind of like that. And you won't even hardly see it. But that's how I created my vase. Um, oh, and before I put it on the page, I went ahead and rounded the corners. Because, of course, our vases are rounded at the bottom. So there. Okay. But if you do have the die, you don't have to worry about doing this because you will have that with the die, as you can see here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start cutting. Oh, actually, let's start stamping. Let's go ahead and start stamping our flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Let me bring my flowers over. The stamp that I want to use... will be these 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 three I'll use that and then for this flower I think I'm going to use some of these up here and the nice thing about the, the nice thing about this kit is that you have the diagram of how to use the stamps how to align them because sometimes it's hard to align the stamps so I'm going to go ahead and it, and if you have multiple blocks I like to have multiple blocks when I'm doing these projects these layer stamps so that way I don't have to um, take them off and put them on. So I'm going to stamp out five flowers and we may not need that many but I think actually I may stamp three fl five flowers. I'll do five. So I already have two that I have cut out here. So I'm not going to cut these two. Uh, so I'm just going to stamp three. So I'm going to go ahead and use my mustard seed. And according to my image here, you want to stamp with this little bump right there. You see that little bump right there? That's how this looks. See that little bump right there? So that matches my die right there. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it down like so. So there's three. So for the next one, we're going to stamp is this one. And see this edge right here, which is the one I have here. This little edge right there is going to meet the top edge of my other stamp. And I want to stamp off my um, dark chocolate. Because if I stamp it first generation, it's going to be too dark. But if I go ahead and stamp it off, this is called second generation stamping. And then I go ahead and stamp my flower. Look how beautiful that looks. If I don't do that, it will be too dark. 
for here. And this is a way that you can extend your um, inks. So if you don't have a lot of different color inks, you can do different generation of stamping. And that will do the shading for you. It'll, it'll work fine. Oops. I didn't want to do yellow. I wanted to do brown. Stamp it off. And then stamp on my cardstock. Okay, and then the last one you want to go ahead and you're going to match this area right here. It's going to match right on top of the bump area here. And that one's going to be, of course, brown. And it's going to be first generation. You're not going to stamp off. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp on your flower. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and use the next set, which I believe I'm going to use this set right here. And then the next one is, so I got that one down. So it's actually, that one is this one. Let me make sure I have the right one. It's actually this one. So let's turn it around because notice that the open area is to my left and I want to go ahead and leave that to my left. So now we're going to do the same thing. Our second color, which is this one, um, and we're going to go ahead and stamp the top, that top image right there. It's going to be on the top right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use dark. So I'm going to stamp off and then align this and then stamp. Okay, let's do it again. And then now we're going to go ahead and use first generation stamping. And then the top part, that top part is going to be on top here. And I don't think you need to be too perfect. It's like the Prima flower stamps. I bought all the Prima stamps, the flora collection. And it's the same thing. It's not always perfect. But it works pretty nice. I mean, it looks nice. Once you use them and you put it together, you don't even notice that you're a little off. And I do have a video in where I show you how to um, use those Prima stamps. So if you want to watch that, I'll put the link so that way you can see it. But all these layer of flowers are just gorgeous. Even if it's not completely perfect, they are just beautiful. Okay, so the next one I want to do is... For this card, I don't want a real big butterfly, so I might be using, let me use a small, this small butterfly. Let me figure out which one that is. So I think I want to use the same one. I'll use the same one. I think I'll use, this is the one that I used the last time, these three. And I like it looking towards the right. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same ones that I used in my last project. Okay. So the way to use these is you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. And this time, let me go ahead and cover these. This time I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use these three perfect peach, cotton candy, and this will be my outline with fire brick. So I got three different colors. So let's go ahead and use perfect peach. Oh, oh yeah, I used this one already. So I'm going to go ahead and use perfect peach. 
stamp it down. Beautiful. Next ink is going to be my cotton candy. And I'm going to align it. You're going to align the top areas of all the stamps here for the butterfly. Look how beautiful that looks. And then for the outline, I'm using fire brick. And you're going to align the top wings together. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay. And then one thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and stamp some more of these flowers, not the flower part, but these little, this area, these little kind of buds with leaves. I'm going to go ahead and stamp some of those. So I'm done with that. Now, um, before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and bring over my neon colors. And I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and use a block. Put some of that on the block. And I'll put the link of these watercolor gel crayons. I like them because they're neo colors. So I really like the pop. A little bit of water. Use a little brush. A little watercolor brush. See how it looks? It just looks beautiful. I just like just a little little hint of green neon green and remember this is cardstock it's not watercolor so you got to be careful with how much water you apply but I just love how that looks add a, a little more okay and then for my red or my neon pink. It's more like a neon pink. Okay. Just touch the edges. And that's it. And then I put a little bit on here because the body. Make it a little darker. So now we're going to cut these out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and I shall be back. So I have everything cut out. So now let me go ahead and put it all together. So I want to go ahead and make sure that my base is squared on here. So I use this to kind of square my base. And now I'm going to go ahead and use some foam dots with some of the flowers. And I'm arranging the flowers and having them come a little further down from the top of the vase just so it looks more natural. And some has foam dots and some I'm just going to place them on the card. Okay, and let's go ahead and place it on here before I put on the butterfly. So I'm just placing my panel to make sure that it's even on all four sides. And I think I like the butterfly right here. So there are my two cards. This one is a little fuller than the other one, but the principle is kind of the same. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.